Given the events that happened yesterday, this is my message to so-called black people. We really need to... I hope y'all can hear me because I'm driving as usual. Given the events that happened yesterday, which would be Mars Day, the day impulsive action, aggressive action, you know, can take place. Um, those events, especially in cancer, that was somebody's child. But those events as in every election year, tend to be false flags, okay? This is literally the 2024 version of George Floyd. The 2016, the 2024 uh, version of the 2016 person that died. Who was that? Uh, the woman, I forgot her name. 2012, it was uh, the one with the Skittles and the Arizona tea. Trayvon, if you do your research, tap into the hidden knowledge, the truths, the conspiracy theories that are always right. These people have backgrounds that are based in a lot of secret societies that are here to gatekeep the rest of society. I just want y'all to marinate on that. You know, there's people in our immediate families, communities, households that need attention before these kind of things happen to them in real life. But what happened in Missouri, a red state, you know, it's always a red state. <laughs> Probably is Missouri's, that man's community, that man's family, immediate households responsibility. It's time to set some barriers as so-called, and I'm appreciating Sage, the, uh, I forgot his name. I appreciate the uh, gentleman that I just did the stitch on. I appreciate him using so-called black in his statement because being black means nothing. There is no country of black. There's no nationality we can trace back to a country that's called black like every other American. There's Chinese Americans because there's China. There's European Americans because there's Europe. There's 